All right, here's Mig here. So uh, we're gonna go take the. Uh, I'm gonna take my Sauron out for uh, another spin around the neighborhood. Um, I want to show you how far I've got with trying to get this thing running. All right, this is the QS 165, and we did a. Uh, I did a test ride yesterday and I was kind of disappointed <laughs> and I still am okay so this is how far I've gotten we're just gonna go for a ride around the neighborhood um, so I uh, after work last night all right I had to go to work after this same thing with now um, I'm just gonna take it for a spin around the neighborhood um, I've gotten it to work by lowering the power of the controller like a whole lot guys it's really, really, really low. I'll, I will go over the specs and stuff. I'm, I'll go over all the settings and stuff before I, uh, um, before I, uh, I'll go over all the settings in the NXT display that I have right now, all right? But the regen works fine, as you can see. All right, I'm just getting on the regen. Okay, so if I, if I, uh, if I take off too fast, or if I get on the throttle too fast, it will die, all right? Watch this. Okay, no, I didn't do that that, I didn't do that time. <laughs> That's, I think you have to be, like, crawling, man. You have to be pretty much zero miles per hour, all right? No, hmm, okay. <laughs> it seems uh, pretty peppy right now. Okay, anyway, I guess I got it, I got it to a, a point where it's pretty, um, it's pretty, um, what's the word? I got it to a point where it's kind of reliable now, okay? But I had to turn the power down a whole lot. This thing is loud, guys, but I, I just installed the 420 chain kit, and that could be why it's loud, okay? <laughs> I haven't run it with the belt yet, alright, but, yeah, I'm getting on the throttle a whole lot. Alright, see, and I'm, I'm getting on it, and it's not going very fast, guys. We're going 35. When I get to about 40 miles an hour... Oh, we're hitting 45 right now. This seems to be running fine. <laughs> right. it's, I'll tell you this, it was not behaving like this yesterday, guys. But it seems to be running okay. But if I turn up the power a lot, you know, re good regen right there. Alright. It seems to run okay. Alright, but there you go. As you can see, I got it to a point where like it kind of runs, but it if I try to get any more power out of it, it doesn't work very well, all right? Let's do a hard launch. Yeah, yeah let's do a hard launch at the stoplight, and let's see if we can get it to to quit on us. It's pretty cool right now. I think I'm going to put my other jacket on. It's going to be cold again. It was cold last night, and I was wearing this jacket, so all right, we're going to do a hard launch. All right, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna preload the motor and go. Oh, <laughs> man, the front comes up like like hard, dude. All right, you better get ready, Hades Bay. All right, here, let's try it again. Really lay into that sucker, man, because you don't want that front to come up. All right, here we go again. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of beans and go. There you go. Oh, hey, look, it's it, it it's, it's actually uh. It's actually kind of reliable. Let's see if we, let's take it out for a fast spin. All right, anyway, okay, so you can see I got it running decent right now, all right? Um, yeah, I've got it running decent right now, all right? But it's not powerful, okay? Um, it's not like, um, yeah, actually it runs pretty good right now. I'm, I'm really, I'm ripping on it right now, all right? I'm getting on it. It's not very fast, I'll tell you that. But, uh, and I've also got the speedometer to, to, I calibrated the speedometer, so it's pretty close. I think it's a one mile per hour faster than the GPS speed, which is fine. All right, let's really rip on it, man. Oh, there you go, it died, see? Told you. <laughs> All right, I got 41% charged. I should probably charge this battery, but. All right, let's see if we can go fast on this. So if you kind of get on it kind of hard, it'll it'll cut off. All right, this there's no doubt in my mind. This this bad this uh, motor is is more powerful than the Sauron one. All right, guys, it it is designed to handle a lot of power. All right, let's see if I can. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm wide open right there. And we're hitting 41, 42, 44, 45, 45, 46, 40, oh, 47. There, see. At, so at 47 miles an hour, it cuts out like that. All right, and it, it's gonna it's what what's the fault that it's giving me? Instant phase over current. All right, so that's that's the big problem right there. Um, so I think what I, I've been reading, okay, we're done. We're done with the speed test, guys. So you saw I was able to hit 47 miles per hour there, just like yesterday, all right? So you can see the speedometer is pretty well calibrated now, all right? Um, yeah, if you, if you roll on the throttle too fast, it'll give you that fault, all right? It'll cut out, all right? Um, so, so that is the problem with this. I think um, what... What Alan, I was talking to Alan yesterday, and what Alan had told me is like, um, the motor is like, it's too, it's, this motor is more efficient, so at, at like a lower power levels, it's, it's, it's outputting more power than the Sauron, all right? That's what he told me. Or that, well, that's what I, that's what I gathered from, I, I did some internet research last night, there, I think there's one other guy that's trying to get the, the ASI controller to work on this. And, uh, and yeah, so that's the problem. It's, it's not like the Suron motor, guys, all right? It's, it's different. It's a different kind of beast, <laughs> all right? It can handle more punishment. It, it runs, uh, it, you can give it less power, and it'll, you know, it'll, it'll run more efficiently at, at, lower, um, at lower throttles and stuff, all right? So, yeah, we're just re riding around the neighborhood. I'm just going to talk about it and, and tell you guys what's up, all right? So... So here's what's up. The um, the this motor is is not for uh, is not like a not it's kind of not a replacement motor for the Suron, all right? It's a totally different beast, all right? <laughs> sort of, kinda. Um, yeah, it's um it's a totally different beast than the Suron motor. It doesn't like uh. Oh yeah, okay. It doesn't like um, it, it. It won't run like the Silverun motor. All right. So if you're if you're planning to um, to to take this motor and put it in a stock Silverun, it's not going to work. Okay, guys. Yes, it is. This is the Hall sensor version, and it works with Hall sensor controllers. However, the Silverun controller is not programmable. Okay, you can't program it to work with this. All right. You you need from what I from the research I've done after I bought it. <laughs> okay. Um, the, um, this controller will not work with a stock controller, so you can't expect to just plop this motor in and then make your Suron a little bit faster with this motor, all right? It's, it's not going to work because it wasn't designed for this, all right? Plus, if you want to get the most power out of this, you're going to want to run 72 volts, all right? All right, um, uh, yeah, so, okay, it's, it's, it is not a drop-in motor, guys. It's not a replacement for the Suron motor. It's an upgrade motor for the Suron, all right? So to, to be able to use this motor, you have to have a controller that you can change the settings on, that you can program it with, all right, guys? Um, I'm just gonna go down here and turn around. So you, you need to have a programmable controller, all right? This is, this is the Hall version, you need a programmable controller that works with the Hall version. If you have the encoder version, you need a controller. You need an encoder type um, controller for um, the... Uh, Thing. Um, you need an encoder type controller that you can program, all right? That's the, the key word is program, all right? You need to be able to get in the controller and set it up so this guy won't, will, will run good, all right? And right now it's it's running, I, I it's only running because I've, I've changed the settings, all right? So let's go take a look at the settings real quick, guys, all right? Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here, all right? So right now, um, I've got the power tuning on the NXT display. I got it programmed to 4,250 watts, all right? I, I think around 5,000 watts, it's okay, all right? So if you're at 5,000 watts and you, and you rip on it, it'll, it'll cut out, okay, guys? So that, but, but it, it'll run if you roll on the throttle, okay? If you roll on the throttle. What the problem is, it's, it's trying to, it's trying to, um, 
um, put too much power into it at once, all right? And, it, and it's, it, the controller doesn't like that, all right? So you got to find a way to smoothen it out, all right? You got to, um, what Alan told me is you got to find a way to slow down the ramp up, all right? Because this, mo this motor ramps up faster than the Sauron motor, all right? And, and the controller doesn't like that, all right? But anyway, so uh, when, uh, what I've done to get this thing to run like it, like you just saw it run right now is I've... Uh, I've uh I've set it to 4,250 watts. All right, you can probably go more or less. Probably 4,000 or 5,000. Anything less than 4,000 is really slow, guys. All right, the the bike is like super slow compared to how it was before. All right, just because it's just not tuned. Um, it's not it's not tuned properly. All right. Okay, so that so I've I've reduced the 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 amount of power that the throttle you know um is gonna is gonna pull. All right. Oh, that's probably why it's not cutting out. It's not cutting out because our voltage is kind of low. We're at like 70 volts right now. So I, I didn't know I'm just ripping around on this so much. Um, okay, another thing is motor options. All right, so right now, okay, so right now I'm at 402 amps. All right, that's kind of like the max for the, the BAC 4000. All right, um, normally when I want to run full power on the, um, on the Suron motor, I... Um, I set this to 421 amps, okay? And then um, the field weakening is set to 26%. I found that, like, the more field weakening, the more it's going to, like, cut out, all right? Um, but this this motor it was designed to work with field weakening, so it, it's okay. And it's an internal permanent magnet. It can handle it, all right? So, so like I said, you can abuse this motor more than the Sauron motor, all right? Um, people were saying that, like, I think if you had like more than 20% field weakening the motor didn't like it hey he's making us run up to 30 even more than 30 close to 40% field weakening and and it's it's okay all right maybe yeah maybe the controller might not like it you know um but but yeah i've never really had a problem with that okay um it, it will be faster but it also heat, heats everything up faster so that's that's kind of it's kind of like a double edged sword type of thing all right it, it'll give you more top speed all right but right now i got it set to 402 motor current all right that's that's phase, i think that's phase amps right and the field weakening is set to 26 percent all right and i had to do a motor calibration to get this to work all right after i did the motor calibration it ran fine and then you could do whatever you want with it and then um i was hoping i would it would work perfectly but it doesn't unfortunately uh what else um also i had to reverse the direction of the motor all right for whatever reason this motor spin the, the opposite direction Okay, it's been the opposite direction compared to the Suron motor, so I had to set the, the motor direction to 1, all right? So there's 0 and 1. 0 is the other direction, and 1 is the correct one for this this motor, okay? <laughs> so that's another thing. Uh, okay, and so, yeah, I could turn down the motor current, and it, it'll be... Um, so motor, it, when you have the phase amps up, that's where, like... Uh, you know, if you get on it, you feel that torque come in right away, all right? Um, it, the, the power comes on, will come in quick, all right? The, the higher the phase amps, all right? Um, if 400 is like the max that the BAC can do. You might be able to push it a little bit more. Hades Mega does 421 when he wants the full power, okay? Um, but, um, yeah. Uh, so I was able to run the full power full phase amps through it all right but i had to lower the throttle down a whole lot all right or you could do the opposite you could lower the current the, the phase amps all right and then and then it'll just the bike will just accelerate really slow okay um the phase amps are your acceleration all right the more phase amps you throw into that that motor the faster it will accelerate all right it'll be like boom explosive all right it might be too much all right <laughs> if you have sometimes all right um but yeah, okay, so that's how that's how that's what I got so far. I had to adjust the wheel diameter to 400 millimeters. The uh, I think it was 510 before with the Sauron motor. All right, so so the motor thinks uh, the motor must be calibrated a little bit different than the Sauron motor, like the way it revolves and stuff. I think it has to do with how many um, uh, magnet pairs it has. All right, pole pairs is what it's called. Um, yeah. Uh, this one has seven pole pole pairs or something. Seven poles, uh, where I think I don't remember. How, I don't know how much the stock one has, but it's probably less. That's my guess. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. We're running 72 volts. Uh, we can check the bike stats for our little ride right now. All right, uh, we hit minus 2,000 watts current. 
all right and then max watts is 4570 watts all right so there you go um, this this power tuning thing it works that all it does is it it limits the amount of uh, peak current coming out of the motor all right so it doesn't freak out all right so if I put this to like 5,000 it'll it'll cut out watch this I'll put it to 5,000 we'll, we'll go for a little spin okay we're gonna save it I'm gonna exit all right so now we're, it's gonna give us an extra what was it, 4250? Oh, it's gonna give us like uh, 750 more, uh, 750 more amps. It'll cut out, watch. Oh, see, it cut out right away, see? Too, it, it doesn't, it, the power ramps up too fast. So it doesn't like that. But if we roll on, if I roll on very slowly. Oh, yeah, 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 there, see? It, start, it starts cutting out, okay? So it anything over like five thousand, well, yeah, forty-two fifty, right? <laughs> also, it affects uh, the phase amps affect your regen also. So your regen is more powerful when your phase amps are up. All right. So let's let's do forty-five hundred. Not that one. We'll do forty-five hundred. We'll limit to forty-five hundred watts. So uh, forty-five hundred watts. It's going to be <laughs> it, it. It's about as slow as a stock Sauron, guys. That's the funny thing. You're kind of you're kind of limited to how fast the Sauron is, you know. All right, here we go. So this is 4,500. We were at 4,250 before. I'm gonna roll onto it. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, already. So 75%. So that's already too much. So 4,500 um, phase. Uh, 4,500 uh, watts is already too much. All right, so. And this dog is angry at me. So I, I think 4250 was, was where it was at, and that's where it was happiest, okay? So that's the limit to what I can do with this, guys. I can't do anything else because I have to be able to get into the, the backdoor program and then change the settings. And I, I, I that's the limit of what the NXT display can do, guys. All right, but look, it runs good at 4250. It runs as good as a stock Sauron. <laughs> Oh, it cut out. So sometimes I'll get some cutouts. I think it depends on how hot the motor is. If you accelerate too fast, it'll cut out. Okay, there you go. So the, the, the power limiter works on this, guys. <laughs> So I it, it it it's it's pretty zippy at this power already. All right, guys, at 4,250 watts. So it only it only boggles the mind if I set this thing to like 10,000 or 15,000. How fast the spike will be? It'll be like freaking crazy fast because it's already pretty fast right now. All right, here we'll just regen real quick here. Oh, oh I locked the wheel. This guy. In his sweet time crossing the street. Okay. That's full regen right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. For, so for whatever reason, when you um, when you lower the phase amps down, um, it'll give you like a lot of uh, it'll give you a lot of regen when you get close to zero miles per hour right it doesn't do that when you when you jack the the no no, no. when when you limit the power when you limit the power it for some reason it, it it jacks the regen up before you stop all right so it would you saw like i was i was wide i was like um throttled down throttled down all right of uh, throttle wide open all right and then uh it would slow down and it's like oh it's not slowing down very fast and it is slow down, and then when it gets close to like zero miles an hour, it just it locked the wheel up, all right, and it, it started skidding. So that's what happens when you turn the power down a little bit, and you got your regen up, all right. <laughs> it that you don't get that full regen until you're close to stopping, all right. Okay, guys. So yeah, that that's the extent of the uh, that's the extent of the uh, um, the tuning that I've been able to do with the NXT display. I can't I can't do anything else because. It's um, it's just uh, what you call it. Um, I don't have access to the back door. Um, 
I don't have full access to the controller. I can. I'm only limited by what I can do with the NXT display. All right, and um, and we have to change some settings in the, the in this. So that's one thing I'm scared about because. Um, I'm trying to get this thing ready for racing. This is not ready for racing. It is not reliable. It is not fast. All right. Uh, it, it, this this is like slower than the Suron motor. All right. But if we can get this to work, oh, it'll be freaking awesome, guys. All right. Um, this is what I'm gonna say. I think this controller is kind of going out too. Uh, man, we went through a lot of power. <laughs> 35% state of charge. I think I better charge this. Oh, just that's just ripping around the neighborhood, guys. But you so so that's where I'm at right now. I can hit a max of 47 miles per hour if I roll onto it, okay? Not if I if I get on it, you know. Occasionally, if I get on it fast enough too at this at this tune, it will uh, it will cut out, all right. Um, and it's slow, all right. It's it at 42.50. It's yeah. It's not. It's about as fast as a stock Zoran, all right. Um, what else? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, like I said, this is not a replacement motor for the Suron. It's an upgrade motor, okay? So you cannot put this with the stock Suron controller, all right? You need a programmable controller, and you need to know what you're doing, okay? <laughs> to be able to use this motor, all right? Um, I think you you would need some kind of controller capable of more than 5,000 watts, all right? They can handle more than 5,000 watts because that's what the motor is rated for, all right? It's also, uh, also better if you have a 72-volt battery, okay? So regardless... This is not for a stock Zora, and you're going to have to get an aftermarket controller, and you're going to have to program it, okay? Um, I'd imagine probably in the future, all right, I think Electric and Company, all right, I'm going to give a plug out for Electric and Company. Electric and Company is coming out with a kit that has this motor, the Hall Sensor motor, and it will have the controller with it, all right? It will be a package, so... In, in my opinion, if you guys want to... If you want to run this motor, this QS motor, you need to... Um, uh, you, you need to buy the kit, all right? Um, unless you're savvy enough to, to have, you know, do it all, everything yourself, then uh, I don't recommend it, all right? Hayes Omega is like, I'm not there. I'm, I'm kind of like in the middle, all right? I'm not a beginner, but I'm not advanced, all right? Type of thing. Um, so um, I, what I'm trying to do right now is at the advanced level, all right? Well, that's what I'm going to say. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you need to be able to program a controller so it... it it can, um, it'll work with this motor, all right? Um, if you, it, it will not work with a stock controller, and, and yeah. So, uh, my suggestion, if you're, if you're looking to do a whole motor and controller upgrade, all right, you, you have to get a controller, guys. You have to, okay? Uh, you'll have to get an aftermarket controller. Then, uh, you, you should buy it in a package, okay, if you don't know what you're doing, all right? If you do know what you're doing, when, well, then hats off to you, <laughs> okay? Uh, th this stuff is hard, all right? This stuff is hard. I wish I, you know, also, I don't have backdoor access, so I can't fiddle around with the settings, but I'll tell you this now. If I did have the backdoor access, I still wouldn't know what to do, okay? So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in the controller, you know, that that, that is confusing, all right, is all I want to say. So, all right, that's the, that's the end of my uh, test ride video, all right? Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my, my test ride. Um, uh, that, that's the best I could do with what I got right now, okay? I, cannot, I don't have access to the, um, to the Guts, the, the backdoor app, all right? Because you need a special account to do it. But, yeah, this, uh, I think this is going to be... Uh, so, right now, we've, they've got the KO motor, all right? Um, there's a KO motor. You got to buy it with the motor and the controller, um, and uh, so that I think that's the best way to go. Buy it with the motor and the controller, all right? And then just that way they're matched, all right? That's 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 the one option. And then this is the next option, the QS motor, all right? But with this motor, you have to run an aftermarket controller, so it, it doesn't matter. Like either way, you're gonna have to. Get... The the good thing about this for Hayes and Meg is I already have an aftermarket controller. So if I can get this to work, then it's good for me. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, if you have, like, let's say, if you have a BAC eight thousand, I know you could legitimately nuke a SR. You could, you could, you could nuke a Suron motor if you have a BAC eight thousand. If you're running too much power through it, okay. That that's uh, I think the four thousand is perfect. It's it's at the limit where you're not gonna you're not gonna bike stuff too much. All right, you, as you can see, I I run I run the piss out of my bike, and it still runs. It's still running, right? <laughs> it's still the motor still ran. 
That's what I want to say. Um, but yeah, um, I have to say that uh, you're going to have to... Uh, but if you have a BAC 8000 and this motor, then oh my god, dude. It, it'll be like so fast. It'll be so fast. I've never... Okay, I have ridden with a BAC 8000, but it was not tuned for like big power. Okay? But if you, if you had a BAC 8000 and you tuned that sucker for a lot of power, alright... It could ha it could probably handle it, all right. So um, this is probably better if you have a BAC eight thousand, all right. The BAC four thousand Suron motor is so you know you you won't nuke a Suron motor with it, um, but it'll be more efficient, all right. So another thing is this motor is more efficient, all right. It can it could do the same thing that the Suron motor can do, but with less power, all right. Type of thing. So yeah, it it might be it, you might get a little more range out of it if you're not ripping on it too much all right but but it's it's both ways right <laughs> if you're ripping on it, it's going to eat up more power yeah but it'll be like fast guys all right but if you're if it's slow then it'll it'll be more reliable you know and it, it you probably might get more range out of it and stuff right it won't get so hot you know so when when things get hot you know that that means that you're losing energy all right we don't want things to get hot all right and this bike gets freaking hot okay <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that that's uh, so that's my second day of uh, this is day two of uh, the the tuning. Um, I will uh, I'll post some updates if uh, anything happens. Um, chances are um, I've got a race next weekend, a, a supermoto race, and I need this bike to be fast. Okay, so if it's not, if it's not fast by this weekend, all right, it's it's the um, the weekend is starting. All right, it's like two days from now. If I can't get this thing to run fast, all right. Then I'm gonna put the Suron motor back in. <laughs> okay, so, sad to say it. I, I don't want to do it, man. But like, yeah, it's just not running how I want it to run. Okay, um, so that's that's a scoop right now. I'm I'm close to probably putting the Suron motor because that's the best I can do. All right, and it's still kind of yeah, you know. Um, and I was running, I was running 13 kilowatts on this before. All right, and right now we're only running 4,250 watts right now. All right, so. Tri triple, yeah, almost triple the power. I was running triple the power before, all right? So so really, and, and I'll tell you this now, at 4,000 watts, it's pretty peppy already, okay? So that's all we got to tell you. If, what I, if we add three times more power to it, it's going to be a freaking beast, okay? <laughs> and, and then, like, dude, you, you could jack the field weakening up as high as you want. You know, this motor can take, dish out, you can dish out more punishment on this motor than the Soron motor, so... Um, yeah, man, this is like the future of Suron, you know, modification and stuff, right? I'm sure there's other, there's, there's a KO motor, there's going to be other stuff, so, but, um, but yeah. Okay, just remember, no, no stock controller. Um, you can't just put this in a stock Suron, all right, guys? Even if it's the Hall Sensor version, all right? Because the controller has to be programmable. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey, this is Miguel. Gotta go to work.